So what's a margin requirement and how is it calculated? So a typical margin requirement in the United States, um, let's say that you're going to buy um, Starbucks stock Do a nice drawing of Starbucks there. And a little coffee cup. All right, <clears throat> let's say that the stock is selling for $50 a share, and we want to buy a uh, $1,000. So um, 50 into 1,000. Uh, 50 times <clears throat> times 10 is 500 times 20 a thousand so so fifty dollars times 20 shares and we've got a total figure of thousand dollars all right so the margin requirements in the US <clears throat> The original margin requirement is an original margin requirement of 50%. So the most the most you can borrow from your thousand is going to be uh, $1,000 times 50%, and this is the original margin requirement. So your minimum uh, minimum account balance has to be at least $500 to cover the the transaction. So 50%. So Initial purchase, fifty percent, and so the bank balance we have is five hundred dollars, and the loan amount is five hundred dollars. All right, and the the profit and loss is zero, so this will be the loan this will be the equity in the position all right <clears throat> thereafter um, there is a maintenance margin so Typically, the maintenance margin might be 25%. So after the initial purchase, you have to, you're allowed to give it some room to move. <clears throat> so we can have the stock starting here. It could move up a bit, down a bit. It could move down, could move up. And you've got within the, let's say, $50 is there, zero, and a hundred dollars. So you've got that that room down to the 25. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> that's fifty dollars. So fifty percent of fifty dollars. Your equity comes to twenty five dollars, and you need to maintain a minimum margin. So your equity goes to zero if Starbucks goes down to twenty five dollars. You've got to maintain a minimum. Um, maintenance margin of 25% so above that amount you've got to maintain a margin level of 25% so how are we going to calculate that just make some space here okay so Starbucks goes down to um, to hit the maintenance margin level of 25%, then what will have happened is for, for us to have 25% equity remaining, 
on top of the on top of the loan amount, then that would mean that the loan in and of itself has come to represent has come to represent from fifty percent from fifty percent it now represents seventy five percent of the position because if the equity is now twenty five percent at the maintenance margin level then the loan must be one minus twenty five percent which gives us seventy five percent so the loan will now be three quarters of the position and the equity one quarter and this will be the the minimum <clears throat> the minimum maintenance mar margin that you're allowed to have at that point once we've calculated this we can enter the profit and loss at that level um, so if if five hundred dollars if five hundred dollars is equal to seventy five percent then twenty five twenty five percent well what proportion of seventy five is twenty five twenty five is one third is one third of seventy five so if we multiply this side by one third then we have to multiply the other side by one third as well so five hundred Or we could divide it by uh, 75%. Alright, 500 divided by 75 times 25 equals 166. Similarly, 500 divided by 3 equals 166.66. So that would leave the equity at this point at 100 and hundred and sixty six dollars and sixty seven cents that's the minimum the minimum equity uh, uh, balance you'll be allowed to have and at that point at that point we'll we'll still be left with uh, five hundred dollars of loan the combination the value will be the sum of the two, which is 500 plus 166.67, will be uh, $666.67. That will be the value of the position. And times 20 shares, sorry, divided by divided by 20 shares means that the price level the price level it would have to decline to will be 33 33 so the minimum price will be allowed to decline to will be $33.33 from 50 representing a loss of a third representing a loss of a third of the value of the position so the maximum you're allowed to lose if you've got the maximum margin the 50% margin is one third of the of the value of the position before you have to add more more ma maintenance margin. Um, the profit and loss at that point will be um, your one thousand dollar initial position. Um, we we can times it by the uh, point three three. In fact, well. Uh, times point three 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 so the profit and loss will be a negative three hundred and thirty three or a third so the negative so the loss the maximum loss three hundred and thirty three thirty three down from a thousand
Okay, so initial margin, $500 equity, $500 loan, profit and loss zero. Maximum uh, <clears throat> drawdown to a maintenance margin level of, of 25%. It's a loss of $333.33. Your loan amount is still $500. Your equity is $166.67. And the total value of the position is $666.67.